Hello and welcome to Linux Leech. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the sort command. So let's get started. Okay, so the sort command allows you to sort individual pieces of data within a file. You can also pipe data into sort just in the same way that you would do it with any other command. So let's go ahead and start with some examples. As you can see on my desktop, I've got a couple of text files that I'm going to work with. So let's start off by seeing what's inside some of them. So I've already got three terminal windows open on another desktop, so I'm just going to change over to that now. And I'm going to CD the first one to the desktop, because that's where we're going to be working from. And I'm just going to CD the second one to the desktop as well. And I'm just going to clear that and clear that. Now the reason why I've got three terminal windows open is purely for clarity. So it's just easier to see what I'm doing basically. So let's start off with this letters.txt file over here. So I'm just going to cat that out. So cat letters.txt. And as you can see, it's some randomly sorted letters in both uppercase and lowercase. So let's run that through sort and try and sort it. So sort letters.txt and hit enter. And it appears to be sorted into alphabetical order. We can also reverse that list by using the dash lowercase r option. So sort dash r and then letters.txt. And as you can see, the list has now been reversed. And we can also randomize the list using the uppercase R option. So I'm just going to clear the screen and type in sort dash uppercase R and then letters.txt. And as you can see, the list has now been randomized. So let's try and use one of the other options for sort, which is the dash F option. And if we have a look at the man pages for sort, so man sort. We can see that the dash F option is used to ignore the case. So ignore whether the letter is uppercase or lowercase. If we just type in sort dash F and then letters.txt, we can see that it looks very similar to sort by itself. So if we just compare those two, it's identical. So the dash F option doesn't seem to have actually done anything. If we continue to scroll down through the man pages, we actually get an answer for why the dash F option seems to be having no effect. And the answer is this warning over here. Now, what it's telling us is if we want to use sort and get the behavior that we're expecting, we need to set the environment variable LC underscore all to equal C. As environment variables are a tutorial in itself, I'm just going to show you how to make that change. So if you just type in export and then capital L, capital C, underscore ALL, -L, so it's all capitals, and then equals capital C and hit enter, that change has now been made. Okay, so now that change has been made, let's try and sort letters.txt again. And as you can see, there has actually been a change. And the capital letters are coming first, and then the lowercase letters, and they're both in alphabetical order. So now if we use the dash F option, so sort dash F to ignore the case, and letters.txt and hit enter, you can see that it has now ignored the case and it's sorted the whole list into alphabetical order. Now, what if we wanted to sort this list of letters into alphabetical order, but also take into account the positioning of that letter within the list? So, which A came first or which B came first in the list? To do that, we need to use another option. So I'm just going to clear the screen and what we need to use is the dash s option which stands for stable so we want to do a stable sort so if i type in sort and then dash f to ignore the case and then dash s 
and then letters.txt and hit enter. You can now see that the sorted list has actually taken into account which letter came first. So if we have a look over here, this lowercase a came before the uppercase a. So in our sorted list, that's what's happened. It's still in alphabetical order, but it took that into account. And if we have a look at the e's here, the lowercase e, which is at the top of the list, and the uppercase, which is at the end of the list, it's taken that into account as well. And also with the d's, uppercase first, and then the lowercase one, because that's the way that it occurred in the list. Okay, so what if we have a file with numbers in it, like this one over here? So if I just cat that out over here, so cat numbers, you'll see that there's a few numbers in there. So let's see what sort does with that. Well, it looks like it has sorted the numbers out, but it's made a few mistakes or done it in a bit of a strange way. Like it's jumping from 4 to 45, and then 5, 6, which is fine, and 88 and 99. If we look a little bit closer at that, this 45 actually starts with a 4 and then has a 5 after it. So rather than seeing this as the number 45, it looks like sort has seen it as 4 and 5 separately. So it's treated these numbers in much the same way that it would treat words if it was sorting them out alphabetically. Now to fix this, we need to use another option for sort, which is the dash n option, and that is for numbers. So now if we type in, let's just clear the screen so we can line it up with our original file and we type in sort dash n space numbers .txt, and now hit enter and as you can see 17 and 45 are now in their correct places and it looks like sort has sorted our numbers out correctly so sort is also capable of dealing with dates and months of the year so if I just clear this and I'm going to cat this file here which is months so let's have a look at that so cat months.txt and hit enter so as you can see there are all of the months of the year but in a random order so to actually recognize these as months and not just words we have to use another option for sort which is the dash capital M option for months. So if we just type in sort dash capital M and then months dot txt and hit enter, you'll see that it sorts them out into their correct order. Now it can also do this with abbreviated months. So if I just cat out this file here, which is called months short dot text, so let's just clear the screen and we're going to cat months and then capital S shorts dot text. You can see that these are three letter abbreviations for the months of the year. And if we sort those with the dash capital M option, so months short dot text and hit enter, you'll see that they are now in the correct order. You can also give sort multiple files. So if I just use this two numbers.txt file and the original numbers file that we were working on, let's just cat out, actually, let's just clear the screen first and then cat out two numbers.txt. It's just another list of numbers there. And let's just clear that again and cut out the original numbers file, so cat numbers. Now we're going to have to use the dash n option because they are numbers, so if we just type in sort dash n and all we have to do is type in the name of the first file and then leave a space 
and the name of the second file. And if we hit enter now, sort has actually combined those two files and sorted out all of the numbers in ascending order. Now up until this point, we haven't actually saved or made any changes to the files that we've been working with. Now sort has got its own inbuilt option to actually output files, which is the dash O option. So let's just output those number files that we had before. So if we add these two number files together and sort them and make sure that there's a space after the second file name that we want to add together. So let's put a space in there and we use the dash O option and let's call the file test txt and if we hit enter now you'll see that that test.txt file has been created on my desktop and if I just cat that out you'll see that it is both the two numbers and the numbers.txt file that have both been sorted and added together into the same file. Now there is another way that we can output files from sort and that is to use redirection. So if I just clear the screen and use the same command again, so we're going to use these two numbers files again, but this time instead of using the dash O option, we're just going to use a greater than sign. And what we're going to do is redirect this output. So instead of it going to standard out, we're going to put it into a file. So let's call the file redirect txt and hit enter you'll see that that file has now been created on my desktop so let's just cat that out just to make sure that it worked so redirect and there we go so that has brought us to the end of this tutorial on the sort command i hope you found it useful if you did please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and you can follow linux leech on facebook twitter and now google plus links are on the screen now and as always at linuxleech.com so thanks again for watching and goodbye